well, I'm here. The kitchen's a mess. My hair is all over the place. That can only mean one thing. It is time for week number 16 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. We are making cookies today, another stuffed cookie, because clearly I don't love myself as much as I should. We are making magic in the middle, so buckle up and let's bake. Okay, wait, for real, I don't, I don't know what this is. I was just trying to get it out of my face. I'm really trying not to pull it back as much because I do that all the time and it's starting to break. It's fine. Also, it's gonna be a weird video because I got new specs, see? And they're not just normal glasses. No, I have graduated to the wonderful world of bifocals. And I know this is gonna help, but man, getting used to this is really, really, really weird. So bear with me, it's gonna be a day. <laughs> I'm not gonna need this bowl. I don't need this bowl. I don't know why it's out. Okay, let's talk cookies. Now, if you remember, if you were here for it, a couple weeks ago, we made another stuffed cookie. It was the Nutella stuffed salt sweetie, salty sweet, I, I don't remember. They were fine. I didn't love them. I didn't hate them. They were messy. It was really a pain to make. Not my favorite recipe, but other people enjoyed it. So um, I decided it's time for another stuffed cookie. Now, remember what I said about peanut butter and chocolate together? That's what puts the magic in these middles. I, maybe that's where the name came from. Anyway, let's see if King Arthur knocks another recipe out. So um, you'll notice I don't have the stand mixer out today. I am doing this all with muscle power and you can do it too because it's not going to be that hard. Um, let me figure out where I left everything. Um, okay. So prep time, 45 minutes, bake time, you know, standard cookie, seven to nine. I usually go about eight to 10. Um, and these are gonna make 26 filled cookies if you do it correctly. I won't, who knows how many I'm gonna end up with. All right, preheat oven to 375, but first check your oven to make sure you haven't hidden anything inside of it that is going to catch it on fire when you heat it up. No, I have not. That's because everything's in the lower oven. <laughs> Confessions. Okay, to make the dough in a medium-sized bowl, whisk together the flour, cocoa, baking soda, and salt. That is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. It is a half a cup of your baking powder. Now listen, King Arthur recipes, if you've been reading along on their website, they're really big on this Dutch processed cocoa powder and it is supposed to be really, really good stuff. It's also really expensive stuff. Um, I have been using Baker's Corner Baking Cocoa from Aldi because I love King Arthur, but I am also an Aldi girl. So that's what I've been using and it's been fine. It's been great. It's soft, it's smooth. I haven't had any problems with texture or flavor. Now, once this is out, I do have a large container. I went ahead and I popped for the Hershey's brand We'll see if that's any different from this stuff. But for now, Baker's Corner is what we got. So in this bowl, I have my one and a half cups of flour, my half a cup of my regular processed cocoa powder. I've got a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a fourth a teaspoon of salt in here. And I have gently mixed it together because I put it in a small bowl, not a big bowl, because I wasn't thinking and I wasn't reading the directions and that's okay. So put all that together. Whisk, 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 whisk it up. And then in another bowl that I got stuff on, you are going to add your sugars and your butter to this one. Now we've got two different kinds of sugar. It's a half a cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. That can be dark brown sugar. If you have any leftover from the bagels, it can be light brown sugar, doesn't matter. Brown sugar, make sure it's packed. To that, we are going to add together the butter that is eight tablespoons one entire right eight table yes eight tablespoons one entire stick of butter it needs to be soft what i like to do is get it out in the morning so it is soft i did not do that but the atrium is like 100 degrees so um 
This isn't really that soft. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for just a few seconds. And that's okay, there's no shame. I think uh, 20 seconds and that'll probably have it melted. We don't really want it melting, so after like 10 seconds, I'm gonna pull it out and see where we're at. All right, what do we have? What do we have? We have possibly soft butter. I really should have just taken the spoon with me. Oh yes, that is soft butter. 10 seconds after it sat in a 90 degree atrium for an hour, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. All right, there is my butter. Uh, let's see here, beat together these sugars, butter and peanut butter. Oh, right, peanut butter. It needs to be creamy peanut butter and we are adding a fourth of a cup to the cookie dough itself. There will be more that we are putting in the centers, but not yet. And the good news is that we don't have to freeze the centers this time like we did with the Nutella. Mine never did completely freeze. All right, let's see how big of a mess I can make with this. I'm anticipating a pretty big mess <laughs> because uh, I was cleaning cocoa powder up from all over myself and the counter and the floor. It's just... Well, if I'm not chaotic, I'm not well, right? That's okay. Um, I kind of squish it down in there and then hope that I have filled it all the way. It does seem like I have, so put it all in here. Man, this is the hard part. All the all of the sticky ingredients that don't want to come out completely. I struggle with that. All right, setting that aside. And now we're mixing our peanut butter, our sugar. We're getting that all mixed up. I mean, it smells good. Does this look like a toupee? I feel like it looks like a toupee. <laughs> That's all right. All right, it's arm day here in the kitchen. Okay, mine is just about mixed. You'll know that it's mixed because it's not separate anymore. See how helpful I am today. Sorry, I don't know what's gotten into me. Oh, it smells good. It smells like sugar and peanut butter and butter. All right, let's see here. What are we doing next? Add the vanilla and the egg. Where's my egg? There's my egg. Now, do you remember a couple videos back? I said, don't crack your eggs into your ingredients, even if they're store-bought eggs. Store-bought eggs today. I cracked one in the bowl and guess what? It was nasty. So, you know, they, they get through. They get through the uh, inspection process. It happens. So there's my egg. Oh, I should do the vanilla at the same time. Less mixing, right? How much vanilla did I need? A teaspoon of vanilla. That was a little bit more than a teaspoon. I won't tell if you won't. Well, that just made it all better. Now it smells really good. You want to mix it really well. Get that egg all mixed up in there. Okay, these glasses have to... <laughs> Trying to figure it out. I have like a reverse bifocal because my far-sighted vision is... Wait a minute. I can't see far away. So if I take my glasses off, none of this exists anymore. I cannot drive without corrected vision. I can't walk across the room without corrected vision. So that's okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Vanilla, egg. Now we're going to stir in our dry ingredients. I do have another bowl here. This is for the filling. So we're gonna ignore that for right now. This goes over here. Now we're going to stir in our dry ingredients. And just like, just like if I were doing this with a mixer, I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. Um, boy, you can see how well I didn't mix it in that bowl. I should have used a bigger bowl. I know, it's fine. It'll be okay. Maybe I should have used the mixer. Whew, anybody else sweating yet? 
you'd think after decades of hauling around camera equipment, I would be a little more strong, a little stronger than this. I am not, and that's okay. All right, a little more. Listen, if it gets real bad, I'll just get out my hand mixer. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people think it's weird that you have a, a nice big stand mixer, but you also have a hand mixer. Listen, the hand mixer absolutely has its place in a kitchen. I'm convinced. They're cheap, they're easy. I need another spatula. Um, I think every kitchen should have one. And mine's super cute. Mine's a Hamilton Beach and it came with all these different like attachments and a little case that everything goes in. So I like it. And I may end up getting it out because holy moly, this is a lot of mixing. And I do wanna make sure I get it mixed all the way up. And I still have a lot more of the um, dry ingredients to go. Okay, we're just gonna dump it. Yep, there we go. Okay. And once more. Stir it slowly. You don't want this getting everywhere. Did I miss an ingredient? Because this is really, really thick. Vanilla egg, peanut butter, sugar, butter. Yeah, okay, I'm double checking. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, that's everything. Whoo! Okay, my spoon is bending. Um, so maybe, uh, maybe use a mixer. I'll get it. I'm stubborn, and I'm going to get it. But my goodness, is this rough. Done. Stick a fork in that and me. Whew. Now we're going to make our filling. So for that, you are going to need three fourths of a cup of powdered sugar and three fourths of a cup of peanut butter. And then we're going to get that all mixed up. I do like that you don't have to refrigerate or freeze these because um, I don't like to wait. Now we are going to get messy though, so rings off here in a little bit, if you're wearing any. We um, have a lot of little fun rings. Have my, so we have a, like a couple different wedding rings and stuff. We have our silicone rings that we used to wear when we would travel a lot, and then the rings that we got from the Renaissance Festival before we were actually like officially engaged, but we kind of knew we were headed there. And then we have like our official wedding rings and, um, and then this is a, an adorable dinosaur ring. It's very, it's just like a stamped steel ring. Um, and it says Mrs. on it, but it's got a dinosaur on it. It's got a brontosaurus and gosh darn it. I love that for me. And he has one too, so super fun. Oh, that's <laughs> just, just plopped right in there. Okay. Try to get all of your peanut butter out. Oh God, that is an awful noise. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about these videos um, last night because I knew that I would be baking today and I know so many people are switching to like the short form like super fast videos that you can do on like reels and stuff I don't know if I'm talented enough for that it seems complicated and I talk too much so I don't know so we are going to stir this together until it's smooth 
um, which may take a while because my right now it looks awfully chunky to me. Oh boy. Once again, I am having regrets about not getting out the, uh, not getting out the mixer. Not just because it's like a million degrees outside, because it is a million degrees outside, because I make these videos ahead of time. It's supposed to be nice this weekend in Missouri. It's going to be a lovely, like 60 degrees. We've got some weather rolling through tomorrow. My gosh, this is miserable. <sighs> Um, quite frankly, I've been really tired with Missouri weather lately. It's been windy. So we went to Disney. We went to Florida at the end of February and we got back. We were only gone for like a week. And when we got back, spring had sprung in Missouri and it was very windy. And you know the saying, March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Well, here it is, <laughs> uh, the tail, not the tail end of April, but definitely past the middle of April, and it is still really windy, and I don't love that because I can't keep the greenhouse covers on, so I can't put the plants out, so the atrium is filled with plants, and it smells like wet dirt in there. Oh my gosh. This is almost smooth. I think I'm going to get a metal spoon, though, because it is just really, really hard on my little, I say little spatula, this thing is supposed to be heavy duty. Um, what was I complaining about? Oh yes, the March weather. And then we got all these like 88, 90 degree days this last week. What is up with that? Um, my June bearing strawberries are, I've got some of them that are like the size of my thumb now. That's not supposed to, I'm not supposed to start seeing flowers for another week. And here we are with actual fruit. Yes, metal spoon works much better. There we go. Almost got it. I feel like a Star Wars movie. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, I'm going to call this good enough. <laughs> good enough. Okay, we're gonna take a little break. I'm gonna go grab my trays. Um, yep, gonna go grab my trays and I'll be right back. Okay, it doesn't say how to prepare your baking sheet, but I'm going with parchment paper, trying to open up a new one so that I don't um, absolutely get a paper cut, which happens all the time. <laughs> there we go. All right. We'll say it's kind of funny because the whole time that I've been talking to you and baking, um, I have had Taylor Swift stuck in my head. I don't know if that's because, like, I actually don't know why that is. All right. So. With floured hands or a teaspoon scoop, roll the filling, that's our peanut butter filling, into 26 small one inch balls. I'm going to get a plate to put these on. Um, I'm not going to cover my hands in flour. I did take my rings and my bracelet off, um, but I'm gonna leave my watch on because, you know, it counts, right? Okay. Yeah, this isn't really messy, so I'm not that worried about it. Okay, 26 of these puppies. Some I'm going to make kind of small, some I'm gonna make kind of big because I don't do measurements very well. I can tell you which way north, east, west, and south is, but I can't tell you left or right or how big an inch it is, so that's all right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. 26 of these, yeah? Okay. Maybe I will up my editing skills and fast forward this part of the video because it's a little bit boring. Oh, 
okay, this is, I think, more than 26, but I just went until I ran out of filling. So now comes the fun part, cookies. You are going to need a one tablespoon, I uh, just drop sugar everywhere. You're gonna need a bowl of granulated sugar because we're gonna roll our finished cookies in that. And you are going to need a one tablespoon spoon. That makes perfect sense. So you're gonna scoop up a bit of the cookie dough. You want walnut sized, okay? You're gonna take it in your hands, roll it into a ball, make an indentation in the center. Oh, grab one of your centers, put it in there, and then it says to bring the dough up and around the top. I am clearly having an issue with this. <laughs> I think I need to make my indentation or get some more, make my indentation deeper or get more dough. Anyway, then you roll it in a ball to completely seal it. You roll it around in your sugar. And then you put it on your baking sheet. And these are gonna need to be two inches between the cookies. Um, now you're also going, it says to grease the bottom of a drinking glass and flatten it to about a half inch thick. I'm just going to use my hands because my hands are already a mess. So there you have it and there you are. There's our cookie. And now let's make another one just to see if I can do this one any better. All right, we have a ball of cookie dough. I am really, really getting it flat for this one. Peanut butter. Maybe if I put the peanut butter filling in the fridge, it would hold up a little better. Actually, that went a little bit better. Okay, now I'm rolling it to seal. I'm going to dredge it around in my sugar. And I definitely did not expect these to be this big, so I will have to get more sugar. Um, that's about two inches apart. And then I'm gonna press down ever so slightly. That's a big cookie. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna wanna do this until they are all done. And I'm kinda going back in and like sealing my edges a little bit. Boy, okay. Repeat this process until you have at least 26 cookies. You know what, if you don't have that much, it's okay, just repeat the process until you're out of dough. Um, pro tip, wait to dredge them in the sugar because that sugar is gonna stick to your hands and then it's gonna get in your dough and then your dough is gonna get weird. So just roll them into balls first after you do the filling and then once you have them all done, then roll them in sugar and flatten. Okay, I have this first tray almost done. I just have to do the sugar and the flattening. I'm just gonna roll and flatten all at once. I don't know why I'm not holding this sugar bowl closer. And then I cannot wait to put these in the oven and see what we get. They're very heavy. <laughs> They're very heavy cookies. Um, I found that if I didn't quite have enough on the uh, top to pull over the filling, I could pinch some off of the bottom and just kind of stick it there and it would settle in while I rolled it. So, I know I had trouble with like the truffles and the whole ick factor from touching them. This is not bothering me. Um, if you wanna be precise in how thin or thick you're putting these, down you can absolutely i hope you've got one by now get your handy dandy plastic ruler out and um and check them half inch thickness i think some of these are a little thinner than that oh well let me just absolutely annihilate this dish towel okay we are going to put these in the oven for seven to nine minutes i am going to set the timer for seven and then i'm going to check them Smack dab in the middle. 
Okay, so seven minutes to bake them or until they're set and you can smell chocolate. Remove from the, from the oven and cool on a rack. So I guess let's give it time to bake and come back and see if they're a winner or not. Okay, it is moment of truth time. Let's see, I'm gonna break this sucker in half. It does have an ooey gooey peanut butter center. Now these were in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, it's a little over what it was supposed to be. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh yes, yes indeed. Um, this is just as good as my favorite Girl Scout cookie, Tagalongs. It is really, really nice. It's a little on the sweet side with the sugar on the outside, so maybe if you're not into sweets, you could maybe roll it in cocoa powder or nothing. But I think this is absolutely a winning cookie and I will, yeah, I'm making these again. Like. See, I'm losing my words, they're that good. Well, I hope you tried it. Um, I hope it was a success for you. I am going to go hide these and tell the rest of the family that they were a complete loss so that I can eat them all. So um, anyways, if you're new here and you want to check in on the rest of the baking challenges, um, you should hit the subscribe button first of all. I will post these videos every Saturday morning between seven and nine. It kind of depends on how with it I am. Um, also, you should go over to the Facebook page. That link is below in the description. I release the name of what we're making along with the ingredient list every Wednesday morning on Facebook and on Instagram. So I hope that you choose to join in. Usually it's a lot more chaotic and messy than this. So I'm going to call this a good day and I will see you next week. I mean, seriously, look at that. That is like perfection. Oh, I love this so much. Yum.